Well, the 208 is a hotbed of cycling news on this Wednesday because Mateo isn't the only Idahoan making a splash across the pond. On Sunday, not to be outdone by Mateo, we had a woman finish in the top 10 in France. Veronica Ewers, the Moscow-born, Moscow-high class of 2012, former college soccer player who only turned pro less than a year ago. Well, she finished ninth in the Tour de France Femme, the, tour, the top American rider, by the way. And to get there, she had to turn in seventh place in a final stage finish. She even had a top five finish in stage four. Well, last week, as we were keeping tabs on Veronica, Michelle hit us up with this question about the Tour de France Femme. Why is this the first women's Tour de France in 30 years? More than 30 years, actually. The last one being held in 1989, which was a big year for Taylor Swift and rock ballads, Batman and New Kids on the Block, but the last year for the Tour de France Femme. You could have been born and have your own kids in elementary school at this time in that amount of time. In fact, most of this, this year's riders are under the age of 35. So why was 1989 the last year it was held? Well, to be honest, it was a lack of money and limited media coverage, which has kind of plagued women's cycling for, well, ever. For comparison, the men's race, the riders there competing for 2.3 million euro purse, with the winner taking home 500,000 euro for the Tour de France. This year's women's race, the winner got 50,000 euro. The total prize money, only 250,000.